Did you see them? The Void Woken. They made short bloody work of our ship. And there's no telling if they're through with us yet. We can't count on a... a void. Let's head to the fort. We'll be safer there. I hope. The child has a small mirror in his hands. He holds it up at angles, inspecting his eyes, his chin. The... I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Why? I thought the order would get rid of any trace of the old. But are you a sorcerer? One of those guys that brings the bad void things here. The child screws up. I don't see any sauce on you or me. I guess they're wrong. Or crazy. <laughs> Maybe you're right. At least they don't mind where anyone goes. They know we can't leave the island. And it's a but you didn't die. There isn't anywhere safer. That's what I mean. You'll see. I guess I am. But it's just normal to be scared. That you must be a thousand years old. Void Woken. Those are the same beasts that sank our ship. Damn. They've made it to shore.
Drowned, and eaten by a void woken. I wonder in which order. You spot a strange lizard gazing over the water with a steady... Yes, you recognize him from the ship. It would seem you're not the only one who survived the tentacles of the deep. The lizard turns about with the graceful ease of a dancer. I did survive, yes. And chances are I wouldn't have had you not returned to the aid of your fellow passengers. Da you have my gratitude. Hand over heart, he salutes you with a bob of the head. More than yes, I'm sure you've all the makings of a hero and all that, but nevertheless, one good turn does deserve another, so as far as the whole slave business is concerned... Now then, if there's nothing further, if you really must know, I haven't quite... He sighs, drum... Tell me, what do you see when you cast your glance over this ocean? Touché. He looks out over the water once more, and so do you. A few tranquil moments... As for myself, when I consider this vast expanse, before I see continents dotted with mighty cities and shimmering along the soft curve. Of course, it's rather specific. Suddenly, having all the air of being deeply offended. Well, don't just stand there gawking like an ape at an abacus. Or do you really mean to tell The very same. I am the Red Prince. The... Of course you know me. There's a brief moment's pause. That said, I suppose I must own up to the fact that I find myself the grandeur that is my fate has uh, hit a bit of a snag. Truly. A kind offer indeed. Fine. I accept. On one condition. For reasons I'll not disclose right now, it is imperative that I should meet with a dream. I've reason to believe one of them may be present on the... You do tend to beat around the bush, don't you? So, now that that's settled, first, even if you are as versed in the art of eloquence as I am, that our swords will be... D as a born fighter, I prefer the perfection of the blade myself. But I'm well acquainted with the secrets of magic, and very well. Onwards, then, to vic... The Red Prince nods, and gives... Now, as you're away, you'll be travelling with a prince. Proper forms, as your luck would have it. I seem to be fresh out... Of course, there are other forms of protocol to bear in mind, but I'll see... I found something.
this leads. As the alcove opens up, you see that he's leaning over a corpse. Bugger. How on earth am I supposed to... Skeletal fingers reach down and grip the skin of the dead man's face, pulling sharply upwards. After a few more tug... Damnation! That stuck fast. I wonder, does the beard act as some form of anchor? Ah! No! Oh, it's you. I must admit I'm surprised. Perhaps you're more buoyant than I suspected. Oh, yes. An exceptionally common, but exceptionally valuable commodity. A face that seems rather stubbornly attached to his skull. I would normally employ a tool to delicately, but viciously, rip the face from the body. I could then craft a mask to hide my bone. The skeleton grabs the corpse by the cheeks and pulls hard, grunty in frustration as the body's skin holds firm. Because my own was stolen from me. And the idea of being chased across Rivalon by every idiot... Oh, get away! You are simple beasts. And you sim... So, if I am to traverse this land, I will need a mask to disguise my features. Oh, please. It is far too complicated. It requires more finesse than... No, but once I have extracted the required material from this... And then I can return to finding my people. At least from this realm. As for the others, well... A cult? Hardly. We were a race that exists... I could ask you to imagine an Eternal as a creature of incredible intelligence and skill. We studied the mysteries of the universe, but I will find them. Wherever they are, I will find them. Yes, yes. By which I mean shout loud. Later. You hear a small whimpering sound from behind a basket. The child quiets and seems comforted by your presence. She looks up at you with curious eyes. A wide grin cracks across the child's face through her tears. Really? Yeah. What? You're nice. You can have this. I found it outside, but I can't read it yet. The child wipes her eyes and, grinning, plunks herself down on the...
has a heart. Except lizards, maybe. Maybe they do. I don't know. The waterfall has a heart made of a giant diamond. See? Turtles there. They're transforming.
swallowed too much seawater by the looks of him. Foolish to attempt to escape by sea in these waters. Hey, mister, is a lot nicer here than that stinking boat, huh? I'm sure glad you went back to save the others. Saw one of them wringing out their tunic at the shore a few hours ago. Ooh, that's a pretty one. I don't always want to talk. Can't I just play here with my shells a while? Stay back, sorcerer, and stay silent. We know you've been helping sorcerers escape, Atusa. We have I'd sooner cut my tongue out than lie to you, Alexander. I know nothing of any escapee. If you can tell the Godwoken no more, your tongue is of no use. This can't be serious, Alex. You should know by now to obey your superior, Magister, whatever she may ask. Atusa pinches the tip of her tongue with two fingers and brings her dagger to its root. Her eyes squeeze shut. Stop! My father, may his soul rest in peace, would be disappointed in you, Atusa. The fate of our realm hangs in the balance. Dallas? Yes, your... I... 
believe we're done here. What a waste. Come, we'll be needed elsewhere. Hush now. Hush now. I told him I'd known him exactly, didn't I? The Lizard Magister, or what's left of her, lies in a puddle of gore. The cruelty of it makes me sick. She was a lizard, yet a Magister. No matter her reasons, her penalty was fair. Come on then, Lexi. Pay up. This is not your business, Long Pig. Don't let this moss muncher talk to you like that. Especially a cheapskate like this one. Griff already knows she don't like An intense looking man steps between the thug and the elf. Just stand aside, won't you, man? Lone wolves decide their own business. The thug freezes in fear for a moment. Pay up, elf. No one shorts Griff. Especially not one of you. The intense-looking burrow looks you both up. Ah, get out of here. The elf smiles. Follow me. Before more of them trouble us, there is a safe place. 